What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of our failover cluster manager. And what we're going to do here is that we've got our current host server sitting at Car SQL 1. This is actually where I wanted it because I just got finished moving that over. But what I want to do is I want to show you exactly how to do this. So we're going to come down to your start menu, open up a Windows PowerShell by right clicking and choosing more, and choose run as administrator. Choose yes. Okay, so once the window gets open, we're going to type in the following commands. This is all lowercase. You don't have to worry about any capital Y's or anything like that. So we're going to do import module. We're going to do failover cluster. Make sure that everything is spelled out right. Hit enter. Next one is we want to get the cluster group. Hit enter. And it shows right now available storage is uh, car SQL 2 cluster group is car SQL 1. So what we want to do is that we want to change our cluster group from 1 to 2. So how we do that is that we choose move cluster group. And then we're going to do uh, double quotes and we're going to do cluster group. Then we're going to choose our spell node. And then the name of this one right here, which is Cars SQL 2. So we're going to do Cars SQL 2. Then we're going to choose Wait 0. And show on pending. However, if we bring this down, we will see this automatically change to 2. So if we do Get Cluster Group. It's going to show two. Now, if we change this back over to, which is what I got to do in order to install SQL Server, we're going to do cluster group, and then node, and then cars SQL one wait zero. And pending, and there you go. Sorry, changed back. So that is how you move it within the Windows PowerShell without having to stop and start and do all that other stuff. All right, Wayne Brand here with Dark Fruit Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.